when it comes to the world of microeconomics the choices with respect to the resources or with respect to the optimal allocation of the key resources from the company's standpoint or from the firm's standpoint addresses the questions like what goods and services to produce and what quantity first of all what goods and services that needs to be produced with whatever the resources that are available and in what quantities a firm every firm should be able to answer this question the overall society needs to make and uh, create an answer for this question then it should start asking about how how the goods and services can be produced should it be through labor should it be through capital what kind of resources are deployed for producing these goods and services what kind of mechanisms and the methods and the techniques need to be used to produce these goods and services and who is the recipient who is the recipient of these goods and services so the overall income how is it getting distributed across the various uh, uh, across the various households and firms this is what a traditional microeconomic environment is trying to address so everything is about a choice because the resources are scarce that's the reason the whole world of economics itself is existing we all have to appreciate the fact that the resources are scarce which means the every individual every firm has to make a choice so from a firm standpoint or from a consumer standpoint the choices could be producing and consuming different kinds of goods and services so everyone is actually faced with what is called as opportunity cost because there is a possibility that every party is sacrificing one activity in pursuit of the other by producing a good x the company is foregoing the opportunity to produce good y or by buying some item x the individual is foregoing the opportunity to invest the same money in a bank deposit or to buy something else so that kind of loss or that kind of cost that kind of benefit which the individual or the firm is foregoing when a particular activity is taken up the best opportunity that is foregone the best alternative that is foregone that is what we are calling as the opportunity cost and this is where we always assume that the individual has the potential to make a rational decision whenever we talk about out of the various choices that are available when i say that some choice is rational it is purely looking up in terms of assessing the benefit that comes out of the choice versus the opportunity cost that is associated with it as long as the benefit is higher than the opportunity cost go ahead and pursue it so any rational decision making process we talk about the marginal benefit when i use the word marginal benefit it is the additional benefit of producing one more from a firm standpoint it's an additional benefit of producing one more and when i am saying this should be greater than the marginal cost additional cost that is incurred to produce one more so if i if i say that by by producing one more unit 
my benefit is going, my extra benefit, my extra revenues, my extra profit, whatever is the way I measure the benefit. If I say that extra benefit by producing one extra good or a service is going to be higher than the marginal cost, we say that, go ahead. The firm has to look out for increasing the profit by increasing the output. The same logic goes in terms of uh, individual as well. If he starts consuming, when I say marginal benefits, satisfaction which an individual gets by consuming one more unit of a particular good, one more pizza, if he finds the satisfaction is much, much more by consuming one more uh, pizza, he should go ahead, consume it as long as he feels that his satisfaction or the marginal benefit is greater than the marginal cost, the additional cost that is getting incurred by consuming one more unit of the product. So any rational decision making which we are talking of is a weighing up of the marginal benefit against the marginal cost. And this is where we talk about when a customer had made a rational decision, he has made a decision of going for that combination of goods and services which are offering the best value for money out of the various choices that are available. So that kind of a choice which an individual is making, which a firm is making is what we classify as a rational decision and microeconomics is more and more uh, providing uh, inputs to really understand these dimensions effectively. And when it comes to the various choices that are typically made in a microeconomic uh, environment, we talk about, yes, from a firm's standpoint, how much to produce, how many units of goods and services to be produced, what to produce, what goods and services we need to produce. What should be the price of whatever we are producing? What are the raw materials that need to be used? What other labor and other uh, factors of production to be used? What kind of technology and the techniques to be used? Everything is a cost. There is a cost, there is a benefit. If you see every item which I am talking of, there is a cost side, there is a benefit side. So the marginal cost has to be looked at with respect to the marginal benefit and a rational choice has to be made. Right? The geographical location where the production has to happen. Where should the selling happen? Should it be global or should it be uh, localized to a specific country? What is that we can spend on the R&D? And probably how does the competition respond and how do we really respond to what the competition is doing? Or probably it may even go towards the strategic decisions in terms of m and activities, mergers and acquisitions, etc. All these are various choices that are there at the firm level. And if you look at all these, the only way out to work out is come out with a rational decision making mechanism. And uh, the typical objective behind any rational decision making uh, mechanism is the marginal benefit. Look at it with respect to the marginal cost. Or in short, look out for weighing the benefits mm -hmm. with respect to the cost. As long as the benefits are seen to outperform the cost, any firm can go further and uh, take an advantage of it. Otherwise, it may have to stop and exit from the process. So this is what would be covered as a part of the various uh, uh, chapters that get involved as a part of microeconomics. We are dealing more and more at an individual firm level and individuals, households are a few customers level in terms of the demand and the supply. All right.